So here's a quick shop short video today showing you what we do with our fire steels. Put acetone on a rag and we clean them up first. As you can see they have a lot of dust and dirt on them. A lot of that powder that when they're made. So when you get it off, you get a nice clean surface. I put it into a drill. Bring it over to the sander and I'll tell you why after I do what I'm going to do. It means a very rough circuit surface, almost like mini threads. The reason you do that is you clean it up and then you do this and keep your hands off it. So it gives you a nice clean surface for uh, epoxy or glue to adhere to. Now sometimes I've seen some of these more manufactured style fire steels, other than uh, um, light my fires and stuff, don't do this roughing up process. And sometimes the steels can pop right out of the heads. So uh, the steps that we've taken and I've taken in the past is just to rough it up like this. So it gives me a lot of nice threads to work with. And I'm going to cut over after this shot to uh, the fire steel head that I'm going to mount it to. Step. I have my fire steel. I put some more acetone on a rag. Take a piece of 80 grit. This is obviously drilled out to a 3 8 the size of the fire steel I'm going to use. I already pre-shaped the head using a 3 8 wood dowel because we didn't have the rods in the time. Works great. I can pop it right out and just put the fire steel in later. Just a little 80 grit. Just rub it around the sides, cleans it up, and puts micro threads in there again. So, threads against threads, filling the uh, in betweens with glue gives you a very strong mechanical bond. And you don't need a lot, you don't need to scrape the heck out of it. Once again, I haven't put my fingers on that, so it's nice and clean. It's a good fit, it's nice and, nice and snug. So, I'm going to put a little glue in there. a little. You don't need a lot. Take a Q-tip with the end cut off. Just work it around almost to the very top. You can, you don't have to. Just rub a little around the threads here. Once again, I have this rag with the acetone on it. So when you go in, you'll find the glue will work its way all the way up through the threads towards the top. You have to push out some air. So I can already see it at every corner around the fire steel. I know I've hit the bottom. Clean it up quick. As this type of glue we use will set pretty fast. And the acetone won't affect the bond down there. Kind of a messy business, but you want the best grip you can get. It's one of the best ways to do it, I think. But that's just my opinion. See a little air comes out. Which is good, it's what you want. a little dirty, a little oil to clean the rest of it up. It's probably already set, but I'm going to continue to hold it for a few minutes. Yep, set. Just like that. That's how we do a fire steel. Now I'll buff it one more time just to make it a little cleaner. And uh, that's all she wrote. That'll never come out.